Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you some um, exciting information. First off, my daughter is getting married in less than two weeks. It's December 17th. It's such a joyous occasion. So excited. And I am making a bracelet for my sister to match her dress that she bought and her shoes and everything. So I thought I would share it with you guys and show you uh, what I'm doing. So I'm starting out with memory wire. Now her dress is black and her shoes are like a goldish color, but not a bright gold. So I'm pick and she's got a red wrap to go with it. It's very, cause it's Christmassy and stuff. So, so I picked out these beads and I'm going to make like a seven wrap bracelet for her. So I'm first I start, I cut the wire and I cut it so that I don't know if you can see that's one end and then this is the other end. So they just cross over just a little bit so that by the time I turn them back, they're almost at this at the um, same section there. So, okay. Now, I know most people who do memory wire wrap it under. I don't like to wrap it under. I actually like to wrap it up and then turn it back just a little bit here. Let me... Here. We have been so busy. I know I said I was going to try and make a couple of videos a week, and this week has just been crazy. But it's all good fun and very exciting for the family. So, okay. So here is the one end that I start with. So usually when I start with memory wire, I don't like to put anything chunky or heavy on the ends. So I'm going to start with, let me see here. I'm going to start with the black one. I'm do a couple black. And then a couple red. And then one red. And then a couple black again. One, two. I am going to do a teeny bit of silver on there because... I just, I like mixed metals. Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to do like a little thing here. These are some little 15 O seed beads. I think it just adds a little bit of interest to them. To... So it just gives that little bit of interest here. One, two. One and two. This one and then two more. So yeah, so I have that little section right there. I'm taking the bracelet out of the camera just so I can lift it up and pull everything down. So, so far I have this. Hoping my lighting is really good here. Okay, okay. So let's see, so we did that. Then let's go and do Two more blacks, a red, and two more blacks. I like to, it's almost like if this tip of this was a needle and I was threading it, um, but I don't like, you know, stretch it real crazy like that, but it just kind of makes it easier if you do it like that, because you can actually make a, a bracelet a lot faster doing it that way. So this is what I have so far. So let's see. And so when I look at the bracelet too, I have this and that. So the front part will probably be around right here. So that's, let me see here. So let's do some, I'm going to do, now these, a couple of these are from the bargain bead box. I don't know if you remember. Um, do I like those? 
And then, let's have, I do, I'm gonna do, I like these little things here. They're kind of almost like a spacer. Just adds a little bit of color to it. I kind of do them either way. So, like I'll have this one kind of facing it. Kind of. I make a lot of memory wire bracelets just because I like that they don't have to be a perfect size. You know, they're kind of a one size fits all unless you have a very tiny wrist or a very big wrist. So, so far that's where we're going with this. My sister wanted all gold, but I told her, just trust me. I said, I do a lot of the mixed metals. So she said, it's your expertise. <laughs> So here we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one of this. With this. And this. Okay. I think that looks pretty so far. Almost around one time already. So let's see, I'm gonna do a few, I'll do a few of these beads in that one, two, three, and then maybe one of these, maybe two of these, because they're very small. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, I'm using this little fuzzy thing as a mat. Maybe this is a mistake. Um, one, two, three, four, five, Okay, so here's another. I like to do little sections because I think they look pretty. It looks like it's a little more professional. And, you know, you can still have something look eclectic with it like that. So oh, that's it so far. I think it looks really pretty. So let's see. So we have that. Hmm. Maybe we'll do a little bit of the pear. One, oh. three, four, okay, yeah, that looks pretty. I'm going to try and move these over a little bit so I can actually put this down. these over here. So let me know down in the comments, do you guys like memory wire bracelets? Or do you like a different kind? You know, I know everybody's got their preferences. Um, I'll do a couple of these now. I've got the pairs. I'm gonna do one. Two, three, four, four. I'm trying to stay in camera. Usually, when I work, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Five. Okay. Yeah, 
this is looking really pretty. I think I'm going to do some of these. I loved these. These were from, I think these were from Sam's Beadbox. Yes. I think it was putting on the glitz. They're rice beads, I think they were called. Um, check glass. Absolutely love them. When she was asking me to make her bracelet I, and she wanted the gold in there, I said, I know exactly the beads I want to use on them. I had used some of these with jewelry I made that month, but I left, I saved some of them. So, let's see here. That's pretty. Okay, now, hmm, so this is gonna be the front. So we're getting to the next front. So, okay, I know what I wanted for the next front. So I'm going to do, let me see if it's like that. Like that. So I'm going to do one, two of these. And then I have... This, 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 let me see if that lines up right. Okay, I'm going to change the plans here. So I have that one, and then... So long. <laughs> There's not enough room in here. Okay, so that. Then I'm gonna do. Let me see. Do I wanna do a red? No, I'm gonna do the black. The black between there. Then do the other one. And then do two of the black. Oh wait. And the bead cap. And one, two. Okay, let me see how this looks. Let me stretch this out. Yes, so the way this is set up. So, so far, this is the, the front of it. I think that looks really pretty. Perfect. Okay, then we'll put even more of the rice beads on the other end. Let's just do like five or something. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's just do all of them. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now, let me see. So I want something different for the back. So I'm thinking... Maybe I will do... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's three and two. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'll take some of these black ones... Two, three, four, five. And then I will do the red one, back one. This one, back one. And that. And then five of the 
back ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then that's another little set right there. Let me stretch that out. I think it's looking really pretty. Okay, so now let's see now what I want to do. So I'd like it to be different colors as it's wrapping around. I don't want it to just be all, like I'll do red for the front this time, just for some uh, little more pop of color right there. So let's see, maybe I'm gonna do these square ones. These were kind of cool. One, two, I'm just going to do three of them. Okay. And maybe I'll do a few more of the black, small black ones. One, two. Maybe I'll do two of those and three of these. One, two. Come on. Two. Three. And then, let me see. Okay, and then two more. And three more of these. I like to have, um, I think this, just having some really tiny beads on these, you don't have to do a lot because I know it takes a long time when you're threading really tiny beads on memory wire, but. I just think it gives it a little more interest to the bracelet when they're not all the same um, the same size. I do this with a lot of the ones that I have on my Etsy store that I sell. And you see how you just have that little bit right there and it just looks pretty. It gives it this little, you know, contrast. So let's see, where is the front going to be again? Okay, so right there. Let's do some agate beads then. One, two, three, okay, so it's about right there. So what I want to do, I want to have red all through the front here. So... Let me see. Oh, you know what? I have these. I forgot to pull some of these. These are so pretty. Two, three, four, five. These are gorgeous. I don't remember where I got these. So let me see. So let's do it where we have it going this way. Then a black one, and then this way again, and then we'll do one of these. Let me see. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. That. Yeah. Okay. And then that. A black one. And then that again. So let's do it one more time then. And that. And then that. Back one. And then this. And then two more of the agates. One, two of the three. Sorry, I'm whispering here. I'm like, kind of talking to myself on camera. <laughs> they say, as long as you don't answer yourself, you're good. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the front of it so far. I think that looks really pretty with those three. So let me see here. So I'm going to put some of those aside. Hmm. I think I'm going to do some more of these, pair, these crystal bicones now. Maybe I'll do them with one this... 
and that. And this, this, and back, this, this, and black, and then one more. Let's see where we're at then. This. looking very pretty. I think she's going to be happy with this. I will definitely post pictures after the wedding of us wearing our jewelry and all the other good stuff. So let's see. Now I have some of these tiny little red ones. Maybe I'll do. Kind of at a loss here. I'm like, what do I want to do? Um, let me see. I'm going to do do a little opposite one here now. Yeah, it's just a little. Okay, so we got that. So let's see. I like these crystal bicones. Okay, I'm going to take these off. Okay. Let's get some crystal bicones going on here. These are from one of the bead box months. I don't remember which one, but... Okay, so I think I'm going to do, let me see, so for my next set, I'm going to do so I'm going to do, do, let me see, do I have, where do I have these? Do I have more of these? Maybe I don't. do is, let me see, so I'll do this crystal bicone, and I'll do a black, a red, and a black, another crystal bicone, oh, another crystal bicone, then a black, a red, and a black. And another crystal bicone. And then a black, a red, and a black. Another crystal bicone. Come on. I come. And then black. Red and black. So that's a nice little set right there. Okay, so let's see where that comes up to. So I'd like that that to be I'm going to do a few more. Let me move these out of the side. When I put these beads up before I started the video, they were like all over the mat, and I didn't realize it, so I actually can't work and focus here. <clears throat> so, okay. Back. I'm going to do a little more of so this. more of these black 
Oakland's here. Okay, so we got that. And then... Black. Oh. Red. <laughs> Black. And then... First I like him. And then black, red, black. I'm just going to use up the rest of the reds. Black. Come on. <clears throat> black. And then I'll end with a crystal bite cone. Let's see where that lays. Okay, so yeah, so this, so, so far, these are the four fronts. I think that looks really pretty. And every one's a little bit different, which is good. I wish I, oh, here it is. Never mind. Here's more of my, I'm going to do a few more. Couldn't find this back. Okay, so I'm going to do a few more. So I'll do... Black. Red. Black. Let me see if that last one was a crystal. Okay. Champagne. And then black, red, black. Black, red, black. Come on, red, black. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this is looking really pretty. This will look beautiful with her dress gonna be so exciting okay so now I'm gonna do let me see I'm gonna put these two on this end here Okay, so we got those two. What am I doing here? <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, let me see here. I'm doing a little more black. I'm gonna do some, let me get more of this black agate. I'm just gonna do like a row. I want a little more black. a big chunk of black going on here. I think that'll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, You can hear my dog in the background. She's snoring. She loves being in here. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, where is... Okay, here it is. Yeah, that's okay. 
looking pretty. I'm gonna get. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just gonna, I think, kind of do a full circle of black. I think it'll look pretty to break up some of the red. Three, four. I also did all the jewelry for all of the bridesmaids. It's gonna they're gonna just gonna be gorgeous. Okay, let's do let me see. We're almost done here with this row. I just kinda just want like a solid black row in here to break up a lot of the little sections I have. I definitely have some OCD and it comes out when I'm either painting or making jewelry. Let me see, yeah, so see, now you just get that one row of black that just kinda, it actually, I think it brings out these sections even more when you look at it. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's go with, um, hmm, maybe we'll go with a little bit of the seed beads again now bring some of these up. It's not the best mat. So, let's see. Let's see. Maybe I'll just go with like one, two, three. And I'll do a red one. Yeah, let's do this for something different. One, two, three. I have some really awesome videos planned for the first of the year after the holidays and after my daughter's wedding is over when I have more time of how I come up with my inspirations for my jewelry and how I choose my colors for my beads and everything. I've been asked that a lot and um, I'm going to show you guys where I get all my inspiration. I think you'll really like it. And it'll just kind of help you when you wanna make a piece of jewelry and you're kind of stumped on, you know, where to get your inspiration from. So, I'm looking forward to that. I don't wanna give away too many details because I want you to look forward to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, you know, it's just got that little section right there. <clears throat> we are almost done with this. Um, let me see. So the front, let me see, where's the front? The front's right there. Okay. So a little bit of time to get there. So let's do one of these. Do black. So pretty. Okay. That's there. Yeah, that looks, I like the way that looks. So, let's see. So that's going to be the front. What do I want to use for the front? Thinking about going with these again. These are really pretty. Do four, five, six. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is do kind of a 
put like six of these together, but kind of facing each other oppositely so they kind of stick out. Four, five, six. So it kind of, see how it just kind of lays like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna do, let me see, that. I think I'm gonna do these then. This. I know, okay, wait, this, that, then this again. Let me see, and then I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, Another section of those, and I'm going to do black, red, and black. I'll do another section of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. Okay. That looks, yeah, I like the way that looks now. It's just, I like each one to, each row to just be a little different. To blend yet not to blend, if that makes sense. Let me see some more of these. Okay, and then I'll get some of these black ones. I'm going to do a couple more rows of these. And some more of these. Okay, so I got the six, and then I'm going to do black, red, black. I'll do one more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, that looks really pretty. That's the front of it. Yeah, we're almost done. Okay, so let me see. Now I've got that. Yeah, and so just having those chunky pieces of gold there just looks really pretty, I think. Um, I wonder if I should do maybe another one. No, I'll do a couple more. I've got the beads for this, so let me... I like the way that looks. Okay, so black, red... Black, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me get a couple more. I'm going to do two more sections. that on the top there. And back. Red, black. We've been running around so much. My daughter is, we went last night and had her hair and makeup trial done with, and the girls did an amazing job. 
she just looked so beautiful. Five, six. And then one more time we'll do. And we are going to go out shopping tomorrow and we're going to do the... Um, the tables, we're gonna do centerpieces for the tables. So we're gonna go to Michael's and Joann's tomorrow, my two favorite stores. <laughs> she didn't have to ask me twice <laughs> for five, six. Yeah, I have some really cool ideas for the tables. Okay, so yeah, this is looking absolutely gorgeous. This looks so pretty. So pretty on her. Okay, and now I'm thinking, let me see, I'm gonna do this. And two black beads. And then that. And then one black bead. Wait a minute, okay, and then this, and then two black beads, black beads, and then this, and then one, and then one more section, one, two black beads, and then one, now that's another little. Okay, and I think I'm going to, let me see here, you know what, I'm going to do a few more because we're going to be coming up on the front. Okay. We're going to do one black one. And that, then two. Then one, then that, then two, oh, two, And then one, and two, and then one. Okay. That's looking beautiful. And this is going to look perfect with her dress. So let's see, let's we'll do a couple, let's do some black again now. A little fuzz on it. Two. Three. Okay, I'm just going to finish them up with this. And I think this will be perfect then. Put the last one in. Put that one in. 
Maybe put one crystal bike on here. Depends on. Okay, so I have about that much room. So, I'll take this. Go back one. I know it's what most people don't do with their memory wire bracelets, but I just kind of okay. So I think this will look beautiful. Let me try it on before I put my little charms on the ends. Six, seven. Oh, yeah. My sister is going to love this. And I will show you mine too when I'm all done. So yeah, this is her bracelet. So let me get my things for the little charms. I forgot to get my stuff out. Um, get some little tiny circles. Done here today. going to make two little charms for the ends. So I'm going to get a couple of these. And let me see here. A couple of these. And I don't make the charms the same. I make each one different. So let me see. We'll do that. them too long but just perfect so that should be one so then I get my I love this it's my favorite thing in the world so I put it just a little bit before that I just have it bend it a little bit and then I redo it the way I want Perfect. Okay, so that's one. And then I think I'm going to go with the smaller crystal bicones. I don't know if these are going to fit on here. These are 15 O's. No. You can do one of the black ones. The 11 O's will fit. Black. One or two. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'll do one more here on the top. Okay. This will be the second charm. Okay, so... Okay, 
Now we got the one side. And I do like to even, oh, where's my other one? And I do use my round nose pliers when I work with this. I just started like that, and so I love using the round nose pliers, even though you're supposed to use the other ones. And then I always like to give it some, oh, watch, watch me not be able to do it now because I'm trying to do this on camera. There we go. Okay. I'm not going to force that one if it doesn't want to play nice. What is going on here? Okay, that one's not playing nice either. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> See, now, if they were off camera, they would all be getting along. Okay. Usually, I can get one of these little ones on. I don't know if it's going to happen today. Come on. Let me try the other side. Oh, they are not going on today. Okay, so never mind. Okay. So I'm just going to be doing this. Maybe I will put this and this on. Okay. Okay, so just kidding. Okay, so that's one. We'll do the other one. I'm going to put two more of these on. charm and then that and then we'll go on this end I like to have little danglies I just think it it makes the piece look a lot more finished I'm just having little round ends so I will put pictures up at the end of this of these pieces so this is my sister's and then I wanted to show you. So this is my dress for the wedding. This is the scarf that comes with it. The dress is still being altered. So I made this to go with it because there's a little bit of purple sparkles in here. So I did a few of these beads in here to go with it. And then this is gonna be my nail polish that day. So I think this turned out really pretty. So here are the things I need to make my sister some earrings. So I will put those in the picture at the end. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for this video so I know you like it. And also subscribe and hit that notification bell below so you know, get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'm also on Facebook and Pinterest. And I have an Etsy store. Uh, I'll leave the links below. And go ahead and follow me so you don't miss one of my videos. I have a lot more coming up in the new year. I'll probably post one more before the end of the new year. Or maybe a couple before. And then um, I'm going to start hitting it hard after the new year. I've got like two or three videos a week I'm going to be putting up. So thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.